Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Victoria. Hello and welcome. Today's video is going to be a grocery haul. I love filming these. These are one of my favorite videos to put out for you guys, and I hope you guys like it. Today's grocery haul is from Walmart. I spent around $90 to $95, I think. It was around there somewhere. And this will last us over a week, I think, but actually next week we ordered HelloFresh for the first time, so I'm hoping that this will kind of take us into next week because we got four meals, and so I won't really need to go shopping next week other than for like maybe some fruit and stuff like that. But today's grocery haul is for the two of us, my husband and I, and I got like one or two things for our dog, but that's it, and let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, one more quick thing. I thought I would tell you guys what meals I have planned for this grocery haul. So the first meal I have planned is a chicken corn casserole in the crock pot. The second meal is a butter garlic lemon shrimp pasta. And the third meal that I have planned is a pulled pork barbecue sandwich with sweet potato fries. So this is the overview of everything that I got. I got a little bit more than I usually do. And then over here, I did get one case of water. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into what I got. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background, he is eating his dinner. But starting over here, I always kind of start with like the produce and the fresher things. So I got some string cheese. I always like to have this on hand. We were totally out of Parmesan cheese. Oh, also in this grocery haul, a lot of things I needed to buy like that I don't need to buy every single time like this. This will last us quite a few months. And then I got some sh shredded cheese. This is just cheddar and Monterey Jack just to have like for whatever. But then I got this for my um, corn and chicken casserole. I got a ton of bananas, which I don't usually do, but Devin has been taking them in his lunch, which is kind of a new thing, so I needed more. And then I got a pound of strawberries, which I usually like to get. I got two lemons. One is just for like water or whatever I want to use it for. I also like to use this to clean my dishwasher disposal or not my dishwasher disposal, my sink disposal. And then the other one is for the shrimp pasta. I usually get the steamable broccoli florets, but they didn't have any, and so I got the broccoli and cauliflower instead. I got a gallon of 0% milk, and over here, this is the shrimp that I got. Sometimes I like to get the fresh shrimp at like the seafood little deli kind of thing, but I was getting a ton of stuff today and I kind of wanted to save a little bit of money, so I just got this frozen, um, cooked, peeled, deveined, and tail off small shrimp, and I will use that for the pasta. And then you guys know we love these Ego Nutri-Grain Blueberry Waffles as like a quick breakfast or like a snack. I got a big package of chicken, which I only have to get like every two times I go to the store, so like every other time. But I split this up into freezer bags and then I freeze it and I pull out like a bag of two breasts or three whenever I need it. And then this is not something that I usually get, but these are like 35 cents and I just thought like for something easy, these are just bean and cheese burritos. I don't even know if I like them, but a lot of times I find myself looking for like a really quick, easy lunch. And so I don't know, I just <laughs> wanted to try them. Moving over here, I got some stuff for sandwiches. So this is sliced pepper jack cheese. Devin really likes that cheese. And then I got some mesquite smoked turkey breast. And then back here, I got this Curly's pulled pork, and it's got barbecue sauce already mixed in with it. But this was like the cheapest one they had, and so I was just trying to save a little bit of money. And then I got some bread. I don't usually buy honey wheat, but it is really good, and it's kind of like a treat for us. I usually buy like 100% whole grain. But this was a little bit cheaper than the 100% whole grain, and so I just decided to get it this time. And then I got these 100% whole wheat hamburger buns. This was like 87 cents, which is awesome. And then I got two cans of Chunk Light tuna in water because Devin has been taking tuna in his lunch. And he also really likes to take these white chocolate macadamia nut cliff bars, so I always get a box of those whenever we run out. And then for my chicken and corn casserole, obviously I needed corn, so it called for one can of corn. I am so excited about this. So if y'all don't have Whataburger, it is delicious and I love their ketchup, so I got I needed ketchup anyways, but that's why I got it. So I got a fancy ketchup, which is just like their regular. And then Devin loves their spicy ketchup, and I like it too. It's not too spicy, so I got one of each, and they're not very big, so that's why I got both of them. But yeah, I'm so excited to have that. And then back here, Devin requested that I get the Special K Chocolatey Delight. We both love this cereal. It's really good. And then just as like a sweet treat, I got some Fruity Pebbles. I've been trying to get a little bit more unhealthy things when I go to the store just so we're not tempted to go out to like the gas station or like Walgreens or something like that and buy extra unhealthy food. So I try to just get it at the store. 
And then I got some of this cornbread mix and I'm gonna make that with the chicken and corn casserole because we're gonna have some friends over tomorrow night and eat that. And then the cream of chicken is also for that casserole. Devin also requested that I get him the Reese's peanut butter bunny because when it was just Valentine's Day, they had a Reese's heart and he like loves those kinds of things, so I got him one of those. So tonight, Devin and I are having like a movie night at home, so he wanted me to get him some like hot chips, and since I won't eat them, I just got him one bag of these little flaming Hot Funyuns, and then I just got some Cheetos, which I didn't realize that I didn't need to get my Cheetos because I had bought these, which is the bite-sized tortilla chips, and I got some of this Queso Blanco to eat while we watch our movie. I've never had it before. I'm sure it's not the same as the restaurant, but I thought it would be good heated up. And then, oh my gosh, guys, I posted this on my Instagram story today at Target, and I saw them for a little bit cheaper at Walmart, so I got them. These are Starburst jelly beans, which I love, and these are the favorite red, so watermelon, strawberry, and cherry, and so I'm really excited to eat those. And then I got some more semi-sweet chocolate chips because you guys know I've been on a chocolate chip cookie baking binge and I've been making them all the time. So I've been running out of those. And then I always buy Sherman these whenever we run out. These are the Blue Dog Bakery like little biscuit cookie things. I use these for his jar that I sit out and I just like it to always be full. In my last grocery haul, I mentioned that I had bought some avocado oil and I realized that when I bake and things like that, I don't wanna use avocado oil because one, it's expensive and two, I think that vegetable oil would just taste a little bit better for baking. So I got a big thing of that. This was only like a dollar eighty something and it's huge. So I just got that to have on hand and then I got a package of paper plates, which y'all know I always get. And then the last couple of things were these Alexia sweet potato fries. This brand is pretty healthy. Um, if you look at the ingredients, they're not too bad for being frozen. The reason I didn't get just regular sweet potatoes, because I usually make homemade sweet potato fries and they're really easy, but they didn't have any sweet potatoes. I was like, what the heck? So I got these instead and it'll save me time anyway. But last time we got the regular ones and these are the crinkle cut. So I'm excited to try these. And they also had tater tots. So if you're a tater tot person, they had sweet potato tater, tater tots um, at the grocery store and they looked really good. And then the last thing I got besides my pack of water was a 12 pack of Raymond, which don't judge me. It's like eat something really easy if I'm like, I don't know, just wanting something really quick and like a comfort food, like something unhealthy. I love to make that and add an egg and I like to cook it on the stove and add a little bit of extra seasonings and some butter and it's really good. So that is everything that I got. Not a super healthy grocery haul. It's definitely not my healthiest, but I know you guys will enjoy it anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love you so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. What am I doing?